Oh my god, it's Weeha Phoenix. Okay. I feel I feel like I've seen this before, and I'm trying to remember where, and I'm trying to remember why. There there was definitely a stint when this happened because of a talent change, right? I think they're gonna be able to Game hold this. So this down. is risky to run into as uh, an IO. They know he doesn't have blink. That's He's first dead. Blood. Yeah. I'd... Oh, he didn't expect the the extra damage there. Certainly not. They have gotten aggressive. They oh, tried man, to he's out of regen again, and he's burning pretty hard. Now come back on the dive and go for him. <laughs> he still has one more siphon. Oh, he's lasering him. No way this will kill him. The level one late. Oh. 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 oh my gosh, it killed him. I mean, it's got a max duration of six at level one. It's not one of the scaling aspects. You don't really see it for six seconds that often at level one. And so even if the character is kind of bad, if you inexperienced can still carry yeah, pretty you far. Yeah, exactly what the counters are, the timings. There's no sense of feel. Oh, look at that oh. bounce back from Miracle, though. He's like, get that out of my face. That was such a reality check for Vance Guard. He's like, right, I cannot cast Gandy Mage. That was really stupid. I just I just died because I was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I just gave Miracle I was a stupid. gift. That was a free <laughs> gift there. They do get the counter kill, though, so at least it goes back the other way. Illusion getting credit for that. Sure, Miracle not happy to die, but at least sets up a kill, and GH does make it away with the tether. It was a great bait. Incredible bait from Vance Score. He's actually just next level. Uses his depth to TP the top lane and get a kill on mind control. Ha -cha -cha. Maybe not. Oh, curse connects. It is a level two curse. Palantimos looking to chase him down. The coconut might be just enough. Gets the net as he pops the ulti. Ranged axe is now flying through. I don't think mind control is going to die here. Palantimos now stuck under tower. That's where the troll ulti can work against you. Yikers. <laughs> Both have yeah, their merits. I, I actually don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, that's a it's very a hard call this game. Like, like, you have DP, so I kind of feel like you want to probably try to fight early. Weeha mid does get the uh, ink swell, stun on the 19, but counterplay, he's stunned up, does have the egg. Oh, and the be bad bounce. It. Does get off uh, some fire spirit burns. Now mind controls here, and they will put 19 Jeez. to rest. This oh, is the power of the prophet. Yeah, but remember, you can't kill the living armor anymore, so once they clear those treants, it's still there. Yeah, you have to actually dispel. And you're right, but look who's free farming down bottom and also pressuring a tower. They've pulled all this focus mid. Unique have to get something out of this. They will use the exorcism. Now in on to Kuro, but getting healed up by the Wisp. Now the Sunray. GH just looking to TP out. He'll make it. Weeha saves Kuro. Unique ends up going down to Miracle, who's made the rotation. Kuro TPs out. This oh, is one bad. spread out fight. AM now so also kills 19. Fan score makes the TP. You could have gone Maelstrom, for example, because you're against like a Nature's Prophet, and that's like the middle of the pack item, but then you're picking Maelstrom up into the Animage, so then that's kind of awkward. And when AM's already up like this, it does feel yeah. like you need some kind of an accelerator. Palantimos, though, going to be caught here, does pop the Battle Trance. Oh, Van nice. score survives for a moment, but then gets brought down. Miracle definitely not oh, dying here roof. unless he gets rooted. No, the sustain from Wisp is too much. It's pretty good because there, there's no like uh, diminishing returns on follow up halberds, right? They're they're both 100% effective, so it's. Well, there's also unless I'm crazy, if uh, if the AM gets cursed, or if you're cursed next to AM, he'll at least have mischance, right? Boom. <laughs> That's interesting. The next level play. And there it is, Radiant's Troll Battle Fury. Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Enigma coming bottom. EZ might be in some trouble. A lot of pings coming his way. Kuro had the, the smoke, but he didn't try and hunt the tree line. Oh, so he was busy dealing with that. That's exactly why. Mind Control gets stunned up. I was looking to see why they were TPing bottom. And then he got huh? got by the troll. Man, BZ uh, has um, just been down here the whole time doing this. Look at this. Illusion is just melting. Radiant are scanning. I mean, there's a little, fire on ice. Yeah, fire and ice theme there, but geez. Yeah, those moments are great. The dev <laughs> panels, like BlizzCon or Red Shirts guy, and they're just like, um, yeah, sure, dude. Whatever you said sounds more right than, uh, we don't really care. Yeah, we'll throw them in there, sure. <laughs> we can bring back Tyrion Forgering for you, buddy. EH gets caught up top. 
I feel like 19 has just been pushing out this mid lane for a long time quite well, frankly. Surprised they haven't just like lost this whole area of the map since losing that tower, but maybe I spoke too soon. Well, he's in trouble now. Team not going to be able to get here too quickly. Phoenix Egg comes out. Stun on the Miracle. Stops the Mana Void, but still going to find this kill on 19 as the Egg goes off. Good use of the Sprout to lock into place. Palantimos now coming in. Miracle jumps right back into the fray. I'm not it's sure. Rooted. Some big damage. Troll now with the Battle Trance. He's kind of sustaining. AM in some trouble, brought low, but there's just too many heals. Now the Disarm comes out onto Troll, saved by the Cold Embrace. But without the ulti, he's gonna try to go oh man mode. God. Miracle does go down this time. So explosive, they want Vengeance. Palantimos with the living armor actually sustaining for now as Nigma dive past the tower. They will get Illusion. They will end up getting to Troll. This dive is not gonna be so costly. They're also gonna get BZZ. I think? No, there's just so much sustain on both sides. Guardian Greaves on this tree. You got Leech Seed healing him up. Like all of these kills just feel like baits. Right after my control instead. On the run. Little Scepter. They still want to go. They're going to continue to commit. Now Mind Control, Sprout TP, Sunray. They've got Vision. Sunray, though, actually brings BZZ pretty low. Meanwhile, Weha's hasted. And Yules was on CD there. Because he didn't actually uh, change, tar change targets or anything on the troll. And I, I don't think they were expecting that when they sort of re-engaged on them. Oh, they're going to find another. Now Grimstroke, Hiroki. Painted into a corner. Left behind, a little extra value out of the exorcism. Oh, looks like a free Roche. Uncontested. Nigma gonna grab an Aegis onto Miracle and they will smoke immediately. I mean you can dispel the um the whatchamacallit, the living armor, right? It's pretty good. Can't dispel the cold embrace. Oh, oh, hold that thought here. Fight breaks out as AM jumps in, wants the Winter Wyvern, and knows the target. He might be in some trouble now. Soulbind, though, to try to counter things, making some space for Miracle. BKB popped by 19. It's sort of just him and Curl right now. This other fight on the low ground against BZ is breaking out. Still has the ultimate. They're going to go in onto Kuroki. And meanwhile, Anti-Mage is isolating BZZ. This is a really messy fight. They do get that kill, but now Mind Control by himself. And he brought down by Palantimos, but the Anti-Mage comes back in. Mind Control getting healed up a lot while the troll goes to work. They get the bash, but he still falls thanks to the Maledict. Vanscore gets credit for that. Now the egg goes off and Troll is in big trouble. Does not have the ultimate now. Burned down by the Sunray. There is no hope for escape. Palantimos dead. A two for two, but with the carry down, this looks like Nigma's fight, and they actually are going to get an additional kill, the van score. The cost of magic. So that was also a, a buyback I, on the Wyvern, so a two for four. Like, let's say he went Scythe. He probably wouldn't have the damage to finish someone off. Whereas with a Nullifier, he gets this crazy amount of damage, and he can actually just, like, solo focus down one of these side targets. Oh, AM. He's going to jump in onto this tree end. BZZ out of options. Oh! Almost saved by the Cold Embrace, but Miracle just drops the ulti. Now jumps in on the Wyvern. That is a dieback on the Wyvern. From bad to worse now for Unique. Those three heroes dead are stuck in the grave. And maybe that's why they let that tier one tower go mid. It's like, you know what? AM doesn't have that big item we need to start the fight on our terms. Let's just let it go. A little bit of patience goes a long way. Now the butterflies up. AM blinks into the tree line, finds Van score. Idiot buyback. That's the tier three. I think Nigma are just going to siege this down. 19 pops the ulti. Gets nullified. Still pressing outward. This is bold. I don't know about this. Even with the exorcism. Silence on Wisp. GH looking for a TP. There will be a Yules. But now the silence is off and he just tethers back out to Miracle. BZZ with a pretty good ulti. The Lotus Orb is there. Anti-Mage jumps back in. They're not afraid to fight. Nigma are ready to rock and roll. There's no answer to this butterfly right now. Phoenix Egg also coming down. Palantimos stuck in the Sprout. And they'll find him yet again. 
It's a great ult from the Winter Wyvern, but still not enough. The Nature's Prophet survives. Palantimos gets the reset, but it's only going to buy him a couple of seconds. He'll still fall. BZZ goes down, and the GG gets called. That's it, man. Wow. Unique try to get aggressive out of the base, and it just backfires. Ah, they, yeah. they knew. They had to try and find something. Yeah. That yeah, we... Halberd stacking was brutal. Yeah, we sort of joked about the sprout around the egg, and it's better the other way, where you just sprout somebody next to the egg. Instead, they go for the Chaos Knight. Uh, okay. Let's That's think a about Palantimo's this classic. Yeah, but is it good? All right, it's the Team Unique classic, guys. They got two moves. Okay. This is one of them. <laughs> Miracle knows, and Slark, the perfect hero, he's going to pounce back. Can they still kill him? They've got a long CC train. GH trying to sustain him up. Long cooldown on that pounce. But with the Wisp here, I think it's going to be a little too much. Play from GH. Tethers across, but now stunned up for two seconds. Do they have any more? Another gush. They will find the first blood. Meanwhile, there's a Wisp Queen of Pain down bottom against a solo offlane Van score Ancient Apparition. So Miracle getting some licks into BZZ and doing a lot of damage. Nine oh, that, stacks that's an embarrassing ship. death, dude. That's just a free kill for Miracle. Why farm creeps when you can farm heroes? And he just wasn't counting on Miracle finding the level two. Now you compare it to the, I'm position one, I'm getting zoned out, and the other guy's free farming in lane, and you feel like the creeps are always in your face. But when there's no heroes there, you're right. It just stays completely static for the most part. And now mid, Miracle is going to be matched up against the Tidehunter. Enigma are winning the musical lanes in stride right now. Oh, that's Miracle nice though. Miracle kicked back. GH trying to take the tower aggro, and oh, I think hurts. he's done it. He saves Miracle. That was a great little play. What's it called in basketball when you try to shoot and somebody just max it down? Block? You mean like someone's getting posterized like under the net? Is that what you mean? Yeah. No, like, you know, you're going to shoot like just a, a regular bucket and so somebody's just up in your face. He's called yeah. a block. Yeah. Packed him. Packed his lunch. Yeah, you packed his lunch. We'll go they with just, that. They just packed his lunch there. And illusion. Oh, you lunch we box. stuffed him. Is that what you're going for? That was yep. a... They're going to turn this Tidehunter into some stuffed shells here, Trent. <laughs> BZZ. I don't think this melon has anywhere to go. He's turning to the Ancients for help, and uh, they're not going to be there. The har the Harpy. The Chen's actually a higher net worth still from on the last sitting. Yeah, seriously. And the three kills. They have a nice uh, quartet of heroes up here in terms of value. Oh, and the shovel, too, for Kuro. All right, here we go. Bounty, bounty. Oh, no time to dig, says Kuro. I'm going to go help my team. Battle over the runes. Miracle still only level five, but winning the trade so far. BZZ getting low. GH will find credit that time. Now Illusion on the run. He even got the bounty. I mean, come on. Everything's coming up. Enigma. Down bottom, though. There is. Oh, they get mind I control in the bottom lane. Manage the curse it just in time as they make and the rotation with Palatimos. Illusion does get chased down. <laughs> Full six Kuro now. Home of the Dominator. This really is a farm Chen. It kind of feels like Nigma have four cores right now. Palantimos initiated on, gets off the Phantasm, but purely defensive. They've got big time follow up. Sonic Wave is on point. Now Vance Look at this chase down. down too. Like, <laughs> That's two. You're not getting out of here. It might be three. Lycan's pretty fast. Stunned up. 19 still in big trouble. A lot of magic damage and now Illusion pretty much just going to roll into his death. No real escape plan here. And, well, Team Nigma, they are doing it again. Now BZZ, now, this is like save your buddy syndrome, dude. This Ty just wanders in by himself. And they're going to slice up this melon, dude. What do I got to do to get a Lycan Agonims after these Necros? And it has the shared life seal, which is really cool. Oh, that is 30%. cool. 30%. Kind of neat. That is neat, yeah. And it's uh, Lycan and the Vin Tyrant gain 30% life seal and share life seal with each other as long as they are within 1200 range of each other. As there is an ulti in the mid. Relocate. They're coming in the back line. It's going to be a spread out fight. This time the Ravage goes out, but Queen of Pain survives. Van score low. The Quap still stunned. She's going to live. 
Now on the back side, it's 19 versus Slark. Illusion's gone down. The Tidehunter's on the run. Miracle pops the ult. He wants to chase. They've also got a dagger, so 19 is getting brought pretty low, but now Miracle has to be careful. Palantimos joins the party. BZZ pops the stick, gets top back off, but this Tidehunter is just so squishy. Triple kill for the Harpy, I saw that Harpy again! again. This is a hero harpy. Why aren't we tracking kills on this thing? StarCraft 2's got it. Why don't we? I, I don't know. It needs a counter. Val, please. It's got to be at least three now. Mind control. All right. This is some decent damage. Unique striking back. They do get Weeha. Mind control brought low. No help from anyone. And they will get a counter kill. The crybaby finds a double. Who is the biggest biker in this? Probably DK. I feel like he probably wears a lot of leather. Now, are you oh, a I know. CK is a biker. What am I talking about? He's yeah. obviously the biker. He is actually a biker. He's straight up a biker. I'm not sure if I identify more with the road warriors or the metalheads. Mid lane, they try to make a go on 19, but not going to find it. Now the wraparound. The biker's here. Palantimos, he's got the sword and shield. They want the wisp and they'll find him. Miracle now on the run, but the Wolf is here. Wolfenstein on to Van Score. Almost gets it, but the TP out will work. Now 19 left behind as Mana getting burned. Miracle coming back in for more. The Slark pounce. Reality Rift stun, but great heal from the Chen. Unique kind of hanging on right now. They do have a Ravage. Queen of Pain gets 19, though. Weeha with a great Sonic Wave. Looking for more. There's the Ravage. Hal comes out. Palantimos with the ult. They drop Weeha. It's explosive, but Mech brings Miracle back to life. Big time follow up. The Ice Blast off the mark. Great split from Miracle and the Wisp, but he gets pulled back in. Does not have the ulti. He's just trying to live here. Miracle will not make the great he, escape. He couldn't get the oh, no. Sorry, the monster fell off my desk and pulled my mouse cord. <laughs> I got too hyped there. Is Chen really the highest net worth? <laughs> just quietly, Kuro is just getting... I mean, he's 7, 1, and 5, and he's also someone who's been hitting creeps a lot. Yeah, that's true. There's been a lot of running around this game. Bottom and we're lane, just casting team fights. The unique combo is strong. There's no doubt. You know what happened? Ice Blast on top. Now, what does it look like? Does, does Slark just turn into an indistinguishable wolf, or is it some kind of Slark-wolf hybrid? He makes... he. I believe he turns into the same kind of wolfiness. So Damn. it'll be like a smaller wolf. Okay. I'm stoked. Ice Blast comes into the pit. They do kill it pretty fast. Unique on the way in, but they're not going to get there in time. This is where it gets sketchy. You're smoked up. Do you back out or go? They are going to commit. They catch the Slark. That's the Aegis. It's a nice catch, but what about the rest of the fight? GH, but a that was on huge five. Sonic Wave. Whole team gets hit. Van Score falls. Now Miracle jumps in. They get Illusion. Weeha able to live, and this Chaos Knight is getting locked down. It's a pretty good Ravage, though. Again, connects on most of the team, and now they get Mind Control. It's starting to turn in favor of Unique. Nigma might have committed more than they can handle, but no, now Palantimos falls. All the heals come out. The Chen ulti and 19 will be the last survivor to get brought down. It's a five for Aegis and Lycan. Disastrous fight for Unique around the pit. I like how I said on five and Tide was like walking through mid. <laughs> I thought he was going to live, frankly, with like the way they were playing with the tether. I think they just got a little bit too split. Look how good they are abusing this vision. If you toggle on the dire vision right now, which I know breaks you, like they, they just ran right through that fog in between and 19 just had no idea they were coming in there. Wow, that was a crafty play and they're going to find this kill. The DK ordinarily pretty tanky, but like it Only goes like this dagger. and they were just sitting in here the whole time, right? And they just go boop. Palantimos now immediately going to work with this defusal. They inhibit the CK and that will lower his chances of survival substantially, Trent. Turns out the armlet, not enough. Oops. Courier, mid lane. Van score gets a courier snipe, but he is going to pay handsomely. Don't relocate and let Miracle hit him with his... Uh, he's got plus 12 permanent agility and 18 essence shift stacks. So, yeah, I wouldn't fight this guy. And with the Lycan actually going Agonims, it, it does mean that they're kind of all in on Miracle. I think it's a fine hero to all in on because he's going to be fairly unkillable, but... Yeah. If you manage to pull it off with the help of Ice Blast, it could be done. I mean, this is the kind of moments where CK feels a little awkward. And, oh, the, uh, big, the big hero, the carry. Find Chen. He's the money bag. Can they kill him? He's likely to shatter and he will fall. Bounty secured by Palantimos. A nice they gotta get a queen. Unique might be able to start cleaning this up. There is a buyback now from the Ancient Apparition. They lose Van Score. They lose Illusion. 
They did it? That's a two for two. I mean, come on, 800 though, really? And you're not doing anything during the day, anyhow, let's be real. It's nice BZZ. to not get ganked, though. BZZ is just gonna get pounced upon from the tree line. It actually does not latch, but I don't know if it's gonna make a difference. The Kraken shell actually oh, the essence? out. Now this one will latch, latch and that'll be a bounty claim. Uh, I mean, <laughs> what, like, like what else can he buy? Oscar. It's like heart, Manta. No, nah, he needs damage. I don't think Manta will be enough. Like with the sonic wave and everything, like 19 again up top. That's a wolf slark. That is not a lichen. Now, that is not a lichen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that blue wolf. Look at GH. He's like, this is awesome, dude. 650. <laughs> We're cruising. Oh, so it's a blue wolf. Okay, that's cute. Miracle running mid says, hey there. Oh gosh, that wolf can pounce. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that that is great. Thank you, my control, for blessing us with this. I didn't know it was called Rapture. That makes a I, lot of sense, though. I didn't either, but it really does. It is quite fitting to Chen's godly. I, I know what the active is on Tome of Knowledge. Uh, is it? Oh, I know. It's is it study? No, it's enlighten. Enlighten. Ah, knew it was something scholarly. Roshan goes down for Nigma, in favor of Nigma rather. Aegis uh, in the hands of Miracle there. Zz, He's gonna get left behind. Do you throw the Ravage here? And no, the Fish Wolf Man. He's going to hold it. And now it's a BKB. Fish Wolf Man does throw it out to set up the kill onto GH. The Ravage is sort of worth it, but there's two wolves. These wolves are destroying oh, the life. The Desolator's not enough, and he's going to get ripped apart. 19 gets shredded. Van score falls. Oh, and a GG, as the French say, Trent, 13 to 35. This was Nigma's series. Just a couple of wolves picking at the carcass. There is nothing that can stop this man as my control will tip Miracle. That was beautiful. Thank yeah, you so were. much for giving us the Aghanim's Lycan in a game that uh, at least we could find some entertainment near the end there as that was a terrifyingly bad start for poor Unique.